1999 Ford Expedition upper control arm replacing the whole control arm with ball joint First you're going to want to do is make sure you get all your bolts loose before you take anything off. Crack open the ball joint nut on the bottom here, which is a 7 8 And then you're going to have 13 16 nut and bolt. My suggestion, ratchet wrench. Hold the Johnson bar with that socket, 13 16 put the 13 16 on here, and just ratchet, easier, because there's not much room here for the ratchet, because there's a lip. Same with that side, here we go. So, we're going to undo the lower nut, which like I told you to do previously, to loosen everything first, so we're going to do that. So there's the bottom nut with the cotter. There's a cotter key in there as well I've already taken out. Pop that, let this down gently. You don't want to damage the bottom ball joint, so get all this crap off of there. Interference. So just set that there nicely, it should stay right there. Now, I'm going to hook my Johnson bar out here. Make sure that's on there, because slipping sucks. Put your ratchet wrench on this side. Stop once in a while and reposition the wrench on there so you don't slip and smash your fingers. Especially when I'm doing it in the freezing cold. It hurts with cold fingers. Blake will show you right now why we can't do this in the garage. Project Malibu. Friend's truck bed. Kinda no real room around here right now. Busy busy. Premier Customs. Everything and anything on the go. Keep these nuts. The company's too cheap to get you new ones. We use the old ones. We'll use some some never sees on those when we put them back. So Got the nut off. I need to take a hammer. Just blast that bolt out right there. There's that bolt right there. Pretty crusty. We'll clean those up before we put them back on. Put some never sees. On to the next one. Come back here. Get your Johnson bar on there. Ratchet wrench on there. Make sure it's on there good. Now this way, the Johnson bar will hold itself on the control arm. Make it easier. You don't have to hold it. See? If you don't make sure you're on there, you're gonna bust your hands. Now that it's getting looser, grab your Johnson bar. It's pretty loose where the ratchet's not ratcheting anymore, so you must be able to get it off with your fingers, and yes we can. There's another bolt. Good the old hammer. Watch these wires. Just push them over like that and give it a give it a tap. 
might have to take the wires off this clip if you can't just knock it out nicely like this which is surprising to me on a Ford that this is coming out so nice not everybody will have the benefit of easy bolts <laughs> that's for sure especially on a Ford so, wiggle it around if you need to stick a screwdriver in there Right out. Or if that don't work, just grab whatever. <laughs> there you go, give her a hand out. There he goes. There she is. Scrap. Alright. Now, let me go get my, get my grinder, my wire wheel. I'm going to clean these bolts up before I go any further. Go on in here. Grab my grinder here. Wire wheel, you can get this in Princess Auto. The Canadian tire, Princess Auto's cheaper. Screw crappy tire. Overpriced, useless people. <laughs> one in there. Put one down. When you do this, wear safety glasses. I'm just a pro, I have like awesome reflexes, so <laughs> don't copy me. <laughs> Those are ready. Doing that will allow it to be like a brand new bolt, no struggles putting it on. I'm gonna grab my never sees, that's never here. <laughs> New parts. There's never sees. Put this on. If you care enough, put this on so the next person doesn't struggle. So take some of that. We'll just put that on the threads. Courtesy to the next guy who's got to do this bullshit in the cold. Because when the bolts are nice, you're in a good mood. Makes the job flow. Yep. So let's do that. See, and I'm not going to edit my video. Yeah, you might have to watch a long video, but it's better than... Not cut. knowing something. Yeah, cut. I hate when people edit a video and they cut shit out. It's like, what'd you do before that? How'd you get it like that? Well, you're watching every little bit. I did like that you mentioned the bolt size and everything. Yep. There's no... No cutting corners here. I'm trying to show you guys, make this easier for you. You know? See, I didn't go to school. I didn't go to college. I didn't do none of that. My dad taught me everything I know. And I took that. And it's trial and error from there. Learn as you go. You'll never get anywhere if you don't try something. 
So we're going to take this off. Comes with a little safety guard. We'll throw that away. Put this nut here. Throw the old one away. I just kept that to make sure they didn't give you one. So, this can be a pain in the ass because these are stretched and this is in its normal form. Plus, uh, plus these are also very firm. It doesn't hurt. Just go like that. Just to get them in there. Make sure they go in straight. One side at a time. There. There. Bring it up. Give her a little tap. Sometimes it gives you a headache. Let's grab a crowbar. Grab a crowbar and can stick the crowbar under here. Don't break those brake lines. Be careful. Because then you gotta do those next. Pry it up a little bit. Keep messing around with it. Push it back. Mess around. Look. Now I got it in the hole. That's what she said. I'll put it right there. There. Went too far. Take the crowbar this way. Push it over. I don't want to feel on this side since I can't see. Or go like this. Uh, need my smaller crowbar. There. That went all the way through basically. Take the next one. I don't want to tighten nothing until you got both in. So make it hard for the next next uh Around. And I can't, so take my crowbar, lift it up, until I get there. Right. Now we gotta go in. It's in. Now it's in. Let's bring this up. Hold your bolt. Now go behind this line so you don't pinch it. Spacer. I'll just put that back there. Now, finger tighten now. Uh, right on that side. Look how easy that is. I tightened it all the way because the number sees. This side. Let's put the spacer on again on this side. And then make it easier to tighten that stuff up without it moving. Lift this up, 
pull your, it's a little stiff, pull your ball joint and then stick it in and put the nut on the bottom here. Finger tighten the ball joint nut so you can't no more. Now we'll hold the control arm in place. Now we're going to repeat process tightening. Put Johnny on there. Turn your wrench around. I'm going the right way. I know what you guys are thinking, you know. Every time you do this, it's a pain in the ass. Usually it is for me. It's funny. That, that's not being a pain in the ass. I think it just knows the camera's on and wants to look good. Since Ford has a bad name. I just make sure you get her. Oh, that should be good. It's pretty much tighten it as much as you can. Put that one on that one. Tighten this one. tight as you can. Now there's an extra nipple and pin over this idea. What's that for? Yeah. Well, same with the tie rod. Aftermarket. Ball joints. Bushings. They come with their own grease nipple and cotter key. Let's get the grease nipple on so we don't forget. Don't lose it. Time to take these gloves off. Don't strip the threads. If it's not turning in by itself, take it out. Try again. It's crucial since we just put the thing in already. Don't want to have to go taking it all back out again. See that? Let me go get my. Don't forget, like I said before, oh, this one's an eight. This one, or this one was a seven tie rod nipple. Looks like this one's an eight. Sockets are mixed up. This is the eight. If you feel like you can't 
you feel like it's gonna strip stop right there right, right there we're good there now we're gonna tighten where is that right here. Tight the ball joint nut. And our other friend said this was a three hour job. I don't know. This is real time. And well, we're looking at 21 minutes right now. Just for this. Plus the ball joint, I believe, was around 15. So you're looking at already only probably about 35, 40 minutes right now, and you're pretty much done. All right. This would be hard to show you, but same with the tie rod. There's no difference. Turn the nut until the hole's revealed for the cotter key. That's revealed for me. I'm going to stick the card in there now. Looks like we need to turn it just a little more. Neat. And now I'm going to grease it. 